Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I think I'm getting used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> okay, so today I'm showing you guys what's in my bag, right? I want to show you guys everything I used to work, everything I used to shoot, everything I used to edit, my lights, my cameras, my lenses. I mean, the whole thing. Just want to show you guys everything I use, okay? So, um, first of all, we'll start with my bag, right? Okay, so this is my camera bag. I don't have a Pelican box yet, but this is what I use. Mainly because I don't have enough gear to fit into a Pelican box. That's a lie. But <laughs> this is um, what I use. It's a Manfrotto um, Street backpack. And it pretty much packs almost everything that I need. I think there's just one thing that I need that it doesn't really pack. We'll get to that. But yeah, this is the bag. And I'm just going to open it up to show you guys. The camera section which is right here and voila we're going to move on to my cameras and my lenses and let's just bring out the camera and I'll just put this to the side for now and if you did not already know I shoot Nikon <laughs> I shoot Nikon this is the Nikon Z6 and this is my Z6 it's pretty beaten up like I've had it for a bit and I have used the living day life out of it, but still going strong. Okay, so um, this is my Z6 with the FTZ adapter and the 50mm 1.8G lens, right? So this is the lens that I bought this lens how many years ago? I bought this lens four to five years ago. It's the best lens when, I, when it comes to value for money. It costs $200. I bought it when I bought it, it was 50,000 naira right and i'm still using it today it's still very sharp it still gives me great images in fact most of my pictures i shot with this lens i'll try and put some of the pictures i shot with it on the screen okay so i'll put this aside and so we'll go into my bag again and the next lens the next lens is a 35 mm 1.4 sigma art lens Right, this is one of the most popular lenses out there, especially if you're a wedding photographer. This lens is a must-have, right? It is really sharp, it's really good, it's really durable. I mean, you can drop it, don't, don't drop it. <laughs> Do not drop it, but I mean, it's one of the stronger lenses out there. Like, I don't really take care per se, but it, it's really good. Okay, so that's that. So now, remember I talked about something that cannot fit in my bag. Where is it? okay and that's because it has its own bag boom well if you didn't already guess this is the sigma 105 1.4 and it is a beast okay i'll keep this down here and i'll put the hood right on frame and this is what we have it's a massive lens, right? I'll show you guys the front elements. It's big, big. Okay, okay, you can see it now. Right, it's, it's, it's a heavy lens. Is it worth it 100%? Yes, absolutely, it is worth it. I mean, you put this on your camera and you walk into your client's shoots. They're going to be looking at you like, yes, definitely. This guy is worth the million bucks we paid him. I've actually had a couple of clients tell me immediately I saw your lens, I knew we paid the right person. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying you need this lens to make great images, but it is intimidating to look at. And I mean, 105 at 1.4, the compression and the depth of field you get out of this is second to none. I used to be a fan of the 70 to 200, 2.8, but I'm telling you now, for portraits, this is the absolute absolute beast it's called the bokeh master and it's an amazing lens okay so that pretty much covers everything i use currently in terms of lenses and camera but i'll show you guys one more camera which is more like a relic now but i barely use it but i can't seem to get rid of it or i can't seem to let it go i think that's a better 
statement all right so i'm just going to bring it out and it is my nikon d700 oh where do i begin this guy i love this lens this camera this guy was with me through the canteen making it as a photographer with this camera all over Lagos. It was my first full frame camera and it is a great camera. It's only 12 megapixel, but come on. Till today, I still love the colors it produces. It is an amazing camera. And what do I pair it with? I pair it with this relic of a lens and this is a 50mm 1.8D lens, right? So it's a 1.8D lens. If you are familiar with the if you're familiar with the Nikon D lenses, these are lenses that don't have autofocus inbuilt, right? So they require the focus mode of your camera to work. So it's it's a great lens. It's a it's a relic. You know, you can just put this on your shelf somewhere. It's crazy how DSLRs all look like all those analog cameras we used to put as props. So this is <laughs> I really shot with this and it was good, but I moved on to mirrorless. But I still have it and I'm not letting it go okay so that concludes everything we have we have the d700 57mm 1.8d nikon z6 105mm 1.4 sigma art we have a 50mm 1.8g lens and the get 5mm 1.4 sigma art lens and my bag okay all right so i'll clear all of this up and then we'll move on to other things all right all right so we're moving on to uh, my computers now and um, I'm still going to show this part of the bag it's good that it has like a it has a platform here where you could like, just put your your laptop okay so I'm just going to bring this out and put this down all right so this is a 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inches not the M1 just the regular um, Core i7, I think. I'll put the specs on the screen. It does pretty much everything I want it to do. Edits videos, capture one, Photoshop, Lightroom. And I also use edit videos in Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. Somebody's forcing me to use Premiere Pro now. <laughs> I know what I use. I use Final Cuts. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what the laptop is. Okay, so um, secondly, we have I have an iMac 2020, um, it's also a Core i7 and this is the studio desktop computer. I mean it's a bit faster than my MacBook Pro and it does pretty much everything I needed to do. Um, yeah, nothing to see here. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon style. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now let's talk about lights, right? Because, I mean, after the cameras, next thing is lights. Um, I'll start off with this guy. Let me, let, me, let me move these guys out of the way. Good ox, thank you. <laughs> Good ox, thank you. This, I don't think there's any photographer out there that does not know these lights. Oh, and I feel like 75% of photographers in Nigeria have these lights. This light is a rock, you know. Nokia 310, that's what comes to my mind about the 8600. It's good battery life, really rugged and strong. I've had, I have two of these and I've had one for five years. I mean, nothing has happened to it. It has fallen down many times. I mean, one time the bulb broke, I got a new bulb, but aside from that, the light is intact. 8600, 600 watts, amazing light. The battery can take you two shoots, three shoots. It's a great light. I mean, everybody should have one of these. Just have it, I mean. Just have it. It's a good light. Okay, so I'll move on to this, right? So this is the 8400 Pro, and this is what I use for my key light most of the time. And the reason why is that it has a brighter modeling lamp than the 8600. So I think the modeling lamp here is about 30 watts, while the modeling lamp in the 8600 is about 10 watts. Okay, so I really like it because it's. It's the Pro line, it comes in a nice box and it's a bit smaller and lighter and you know when I have to like boom my lights, I don't want to put so much weight on my stand, I use this. It's an amazing light, right? 
Okay, so it's 400 watts, which is plenty enough for most things. Now, I'll talk to you about my new favorite light, which is the Godox 8100 Pro. It comes in this really nice box. I mean, these boxes are beautiful, aren't they? And this light is so cute. It's like, when I bought it, I just held it. I just held it because, I mean, I liked it. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 8100. I mean, it looks like your coffee mug. <laughs> it's really cute. It's... It's a good light. Um, I plan to do like a, a review for this light and I'll do that in a couple of weeks. But I mean, if you're a wedding photographer, you like to shoot off camera, this is a good light for you. You want to, you can just hold this. You can have your assistant hold it. You don't need a stand. It's really good. It has TTL, um, high speed sync. Everything you need is in here. I mean, all the lights I've spoken about have high speed sync and TTL apart from the 8600. This is the manual one. There's one that has TTL, I think. And lastly, I'll just talk about the AKR1 kit, right? This is a kit you can get for your AD, your AD100 Pro. And it's just magnet accessories, which is really, really nice. So for example, I have a grid here and I can just snap it on. Boom, your grid is on. Um, it has other other accessories like a band door. Uh, you can just pick your band door. No need for screws or anything. Just slap it on and it's on. Oops. Slap it on and it's on. So that's pretty nice and it's, it's a really good light. Uh, I haven't stopped using it since I got it. It also has this really nice modeling lamp. I, I don't know how many watts it is, but it's really good and it's really handy. I've shot bridal portraits with it. I've shot um, accessories and details with it. It's really good. I mean, it looks like it's gone. <laughs> okay, um, the, the, the kit also comes with a couple of gels, so you can see some gels in here that you can just slap on as well. And yeah, that pretty much covers everything I have. So 8400, 28600, and this 8100 Pro. I plan to get one more of these because they are really good. So I'm just gonna get one more of these. Okay. So I also have a continuous light, I forgot. That's the Godox SLB 60 watts. It is what is my key light and what is filming right now. I'll show you behind the scenes so you can see it. Um, it's a good light. It has the same form factor as the 8600 here. It uses the same battery as the 8600 as well, which is really good. It's a battery powered continuous light, 60 watts. Um, it's what we're using right now. So, Boeing's mount adapter as well. So, it fits in to all your Boeing's mount adapter, Boeing's mount um, modifiers. All right, guys. So, I think that comes to the end of our video. What's in my bag? I mean, some of the things are not exactly in my bag, but I thought I'll show you guys everything that I work with. But last, no, last but not least, I'll show you my speaker because. What is photography without music? Music is so key to getting your, your clients and your models in the right mood to pose for you and to be happy on set. So I use this Harmon and Cardon um, Studio Onyx 6. It's really good. It's really loud. The buzz, sound quality is amazing. And I use this on set everywhere. I just put it in another bag, not the Manfredo bag. And I carry it everywhere I go. All right, so that concludes our video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, subscribe. Just click it now. I know it's, it's easy, you forget, but it's like stop now, click subscribe, like this video, and then turn on notifications. All right, thank you.